Welcome back everyone, and welcome back to some more Let's Play Slay the Spire. I don't remember what episode this is, uh, as of this moment. I don't have it open on my other screen today, like an idiot. But we're playing more modded. Now, in the last episode we were playing through some of the, uh, the what's -a doodle Forget what her name is, my favourite bay. But, uh, we have some new ones. The Servant, that's, that's what her name is. Uh, we have some new ones, so I've grabbed a few more mods. Uh, on recommendations of you guys, so I now have uh, Marisa, which is kind of fun. I haven't played any of these yet, so I'm just judging off looks. The Necromancer, seems cool. Uh, servant we know about. And Yuri. Cool, so that could be fun. I also have two, uh, like, relic and, s like, small card mods. I think one of them is, like, Hubris, and the other one is Aspiration or something like that. Um, if you guys are interested in knowing what those are, I'm literally just going through the Steam Workshop page and going for top rated and finding them that way. If you have any specific ones that you like, uh, that you'd like to see me give a go or add in, then, you know, let me know. But, okay, so we might play one of the new characters. We can play Marissa. Uh, ordinary magician lives in the forest of magic, specializes in light and heat magic. Fun. Whenever you play a card, gain one charge up. Don't know what charge up is. I assume it's something. I'm sure we'll find out. A powerful mage that channels dark energy to summon the dead. Whenever you kill an enemy, heal 2 HP. That's kind of fun. Gearing towards maybe the Necromancer first. Or, at the start of each combat, game 1 insanity. Necromancer it is. <laughs> uh, yeah, we'll take the enemies in combat, set 3 HP. Because I can maybe get an elite out of this. Probably won't, but maybe. So what am I looking at here? Strike, defend, all the standards. What are your fruity cards? Negative energy arrows. Deal three damage three times, add one negative level. Uh, apply negative one strength per stack. Drops by one each turn, returning, to, returning one strength to the target. So we do... We hit with that, we do less damage for the next turn, but we get it back. It's like, it, it burns off, I guess. And bones. Buffs the next bone type attack. Okay. So there's a little bit of fruity stuff in there. We'll have to see with other cards how we go. Life drain, deal six damage, heals for six. Heals two less HP this combat. It's probably not bad. Summon a random undead. We are called the Necromancer. I gotta go for summon the undead. Uh, ooh, Aspiration. You come across a seemingly abandoned bird's nest. Feeling the need to depopulate the spire of these creatures, you take a look into it and find something unexpected. A strange egg that does not belong resides within it. It leaks pungent liquids, looks like an igneous rock, emits a stinging cold from the ice jutting outwards, or I just leave. It leaks pungent liquids. It's probably rotten. Come on, seemingly abandoned... Oh, there we go. It leaks pungent liquids. You want it. It could prove useful on your journey, but you hear the angry parents screech in the distance. Toxic egg. Whenever you add a skill, actually, pretty good. I'll take the injury. I'll take the injury. That should be okay. Uh, before you lies an elaborate shrine to an ancient spirit. More curses. All the curses. We should be playing the cursed. Uh, I mean, death and death. Epidemic. Epidemic Plus even spreads all debuffs of the target to all enemies exhaust. Debuffs are negative effects that are applied, including weak, vulnerable, frail, negative strength, and more. Nice. So it could be fun. Deal six damage to all enemies, apply one negative level. Deal eight damage if the target dies, gain one zombie. Seems fun. Finger of death. Seems fun. Uh, as you walk into the room, you hear a girl going, Oh, we're going to do this for sure. I mean, we're going to, like, nearly die from it, but it's worth it, because we're going to do this in one anyway. Oh, this is going to be satisfying. Okay, I'm going to summon the undead just to see. A vampire lady. Deals six damage to a random enemy at the start of each enemy's turn. Heals for 50% damage dealt. Okay, actually, we'll do that. That seems like a good idea. <laughs> well, have I got a surprise for you. 
Apply six poison and three vulnerable to the target. Apply three poison and two vulnerable to all other enemies. Ooh. Ooh. We're going to summon more undead. Undead seems to be the fun thing. I mean, it's all fun, but you know what I mean. Uh, we're going to pull some of these curses out. Probably that one to start with. Uh, consume illness. Remove a negative effect if you do heal three. It's kind of fun. Apply eight poison to all enemies. Apply eight poison to all enemies. Holy shit. Uh, shatter all. So get rid of all bone cards. Deal two damage X times where X is the amount of bone shattered. Okay. Seems interesting. Blood wake. Lose three HP. Deal 15 damage to all enemies. Pretty strong. I'm going to take cloud kill plus. And that's probably it. Oh, actually. Draw two additional cards. Maybe we take that. Maybe we take the two additional cards. Because I don't know when we're going to get another shop. Not on this level for sure. So it's probably worth it just to see what happens. God, I love that Cloud Kill Plus thing, though. A Lich, powerful undead mage, deals five damage to all enemies at the end of each turn. Done. God, that, that Cloud Kill thing. And that's just a discard? Holy shit, that is powerful. Uh, okay, we'll summon that. We'll do this. We're going to do that just to see what happens. Oh, hang on. It gets a negative level. Oh. Okay, so we just kind of get, like, all these, I guess, buffs that hurt the enemy and do numerous and variable things. It's kind of fun. Oh, I see. So, like, for one turn it goes to negative one, but after that it goes to plus one. Okay. Delay damage if the enemy dies to a card. Shatter all. So shatter all bone cards. Gain plated armor for each bone shattered. Interesting. We might take the negative energy shield just to play around with it. Uh, Hubris. Whenever you enter a rest site during the next combat, the first card play each turn also draws one card. Fun. Uh, with that in mind, I think I will enter this rest site. Probably Smith, though. Four damage three times. That's an extra three damage. Pretty good deal. Bum, bum, bum. Uh... Two random cards. Yeah. Strike and defend is kind of garbage to upgrade, but probably worth 15 health. You come across a pedestal with a 20-sided object sitting atop. An inscription on the pedestal reads, "After f Alter fate for better or worse. Yeah, why not? Tain runic icosahedron. Pocketing the mysterious object, an inexplicable sense that fate has been twisted washes over you. Right-click your in combat to activate. Once per combat, you may roll the icosahedron. Sounds ominous. Okay. Well, we're gonna... Summon Undead, I guess. And Cloud Kill? And then we're gonna roll. Oh. Oh, that's fun. So... Gain one Strength, one Dex, and one Focus. Oh! Ah, uh, right, so... And I cause a hedron's a 20-sided dice, right? So it's just, I'm just rolling a d20 on my stats. So, like, the higher I get, the better. I see. Right. I see what you're playing at. Nice. Well, not that nice. We split them at exactly 34. That's pretty bad. Okay. Summon that. Uh, so if I do this, what is a negative energy shield? When attacked, apply one negative level to the attacker. Oh. Okay, that's sort of fun. We hit him with the zombies, but bam Oh, it deals three damage at the end of the turn. So I guess to a random enemy is what it means. Sure. Uh, boom, boom. Finger of death? Oh, it won't kill him. 
Uh, can we get a kill out of this? I think we can, right? Zap. We might actually kill him here. Yeah, we will. Easily. Easily. I kind of like the Necromancer. It's a bit... It's a bit fruity, and I like it. Summon a powerful undead mage that deals five damage to all enemies each turn. So we just get a lich. Uh, which maybe we want. So don't... Like, the first time I play these characters, don't expect any sort of good builds or anything fancy. I will literally just be trying to figure out how any of this works. You know what? The Icosahedron was good for us last time, right? And it never goes wrong. That's how luck works. It's always good, right? Always good. Liter literally always good. Okay, but this is fine. We can get quite a lot of defense. Oh, what kind of thing we got? A Death Knight. Knight Risen from the Dead deals 5 damage at the end of the turn. Buffs the Necromancer with 5 block at the end of the turn. Oh. Okay. Again, kind of fruity. Oh, we have two of them now. Oh, so you just like... You basically just build up a ton of buffs that either buff you or debuff the enemy or hit the enemy. That is kind of spicy. I like it. I can get used to this. Uh, deal 9 damage if the target has more than 3 negative levels. Stun it. Ooh. Bone armor plus. Stop heart. Apply 1 crushed heart. Deal 3 damage each turn. Increases by 1 stack each turn. <sighs> that seems very strong. I guess if you can survive that long is the trick. Alright, well, I know that the old Icosahedron has uh, had a 50% success rate, but that just means we've had one pass, one fail. We're going to pass this time, right? Okay, random rare potion, which I can't get because I'm full, so that's fun. I'll definitely do that because apparently it's just going to get stronger over time. Uh, which is kind of insane. Uh, we have 10 cards. Yeah, we'll save the Gambler's Brew. So now we should have two stacks of that. Okay, well. This is getting a bit redonkulous. Like, already this is kind of redonkulous. We just do six damage a turn. Then we're going to do nine, then twelve, then fifteen. Huh. Uh, that's a lot of garbage strikes that we don't really need. And we don't need defense because he's going to do zero damage, so... Bring me five more cards, please. Summon a Lich. Or we just keep, like, stacking negative strength. Okay, we got our little, like, defense boy, who also hits the enemy. Yeah, wow, this is a... an interesting character. I'm not... I haven't played it enough, but my first thought is maybe it's a little bit OP. Maybe it's not. Maybe it's just P. Maybe it's just, like, perfectly reasonably powered. But it doesn't seem that way. It doesn't seem that way at all. Like, most of its abilities don't seem to have a lot of downsides. It's just all good shit. Maybe that's just me seeing it from the perspective of... Of someone playing it for the first time. I guess the Servant was kind of similar. I thought that was pretty OP at first. But there's a bit more nuance to it. Maybe it will change. Like, as I get... A lot higher up the tower... It will be an actual problem. But definitely these negative level things seem pretty strong. 
Just saying. And that stop heart thing, if I can get a couple of those out... Give him the old finger of death. Bzzz. Got him. Grass part. Deal 20 damage, apply one crushed heart. So, does that mean it would increase by two stacks each turn, though? I bet you it doesn't. Deal, deal damage five times the amount of unique debuffs on the target. Oof. Shatter all, deal three damage. Okay, we might just go grass part again and see if we can get the other. A back tick. Upon pickup, choose any non-boss, non-event relic to obtain. Sure. Ironclad skill book. At the end of each turn, if you have more than 20 block, gain one strength. At the end of combat, heal 4 HP. Multi-class ironclad. Cards from the associated class may now spawn. Oh. Okay, so we could get ironclad things. I might grab this, though. Oh, lord, that's a lot of choice. That's a lot of choice. Maybe we just go molten egg, and that way we get... Attacks and skills get upgraded. I'm sure there's a better option here, but I'll be honest, I'm pretty overwhelmed. Split into a random slime at the start of combat. Like, I don't know how many, how much each of these are actually useful. Like, six knives is not going to help us. Ten block. Oh, wait, can we get, like, Oracalcum? Oh, we can. Can we get the... Uh, don't lose your block thing. Come up with an additional one. Oh, this is actually a hard pick the more I think about it. Maybe I should just not think about it. And just get something basic. I, I don't even know. Membership card. That is an investment. I might actually take that. I'm going to take the membership card. It's kind of an investment in the future, but we do have $242 dollary dues right now. So maybe we can make that work. Okay, the only shop is there. Right? Oh, no, there's no one over this side. Sorry. There's two over this side. In that case, we're going to go this way. We're going to hit the shops. We're going on a shopping trip. Ooh. This is an option. Reduce your damage by one. Don't know how useful that is. We get a full block, though, so... Actually, yeah, we're being robbed just before we want to go to the shop. I better not let them get away. I don't think I can afford to let them get away. Uh, yeah. Summon Lich and then throw a potion at someone. The five damage to each enemy might be enough to turn the tide here and make sure nobody gets away. Like, they are inevitably going to hurt me pretty bad. Stop heart's kind of pointless. I don't think they're going to be around long enough for that to be a thing. Uh, There's nothing here to really do, so I guess I'll just bone wall and get a bone. Whatever that's for. Okay. I think we'll be okay here, right? Yeah, no, he's he's got to be dead. Yeah, cool. He didn't get away. They didn't get away with my cash. Corrupt all non-unique buffs of the target. Corrupt. Turn a buff of the target into a debuff. Oh. That could be useful. Death March Dance. Deal four damage if this kills an enemy permanently increases cast damage by two. Okay. I think it starts a bit low. It is free, though. You know, a zero-cost card is pretty good. Uh, buh, 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 obtain a relic. Yeah. We got a deck of holding. Right-click during combat to activate usable ones per combat. Retain your hand this turn. Synergy Runic Pyramid. If you have the Runic Pyramid, discard your hand instead. Oh. Oh, I like when modders sort of sit down and think about... Fancy little things they can do. 
I like that. Apotheosis could be a good pick. Uh, Oracle Alchem's good too. Chaos Heart. Raise your max HP by 100 and become unable to obtain new relics for the entire run. No. <laughs> I like relics. <laughs> Might take this. We're going to take Bone Prison. And nothing else. Hmm, okay. Because we have another shop, I'm just hoping that for 90... Well, it'll be 100 and something by the time we defeat the Chosen. Hoping that that will give us something. Okay, I don't want to use that. Uh, 5 by 2 is 10. We can block that. Just give him a good strike. Just give him a good striking. Just with the back of the hand. You know what? I might even do this. Let's go D20. Nat 20. Nope. <laughs> Bummer. Uh, yeah, we'll stop his heart. And I guess summon an undead. What do we got? A vampire lady. Oh, yeah, that's the one that heals us for three. That's pretty good. Just healing for three every turn. Pretty good. I like it. Uh, you don't intend to attack this turn, so you might even hit the deck of holding and retain this hand. Because he's probably going to attack next turn. Surely. Surely he's going to attack. Yeah, there we go. So we're going to hit him with the stun. Bang. Get out of here. Your butthole. Uh, cloud kills. Good card. Summon Lich. Probably okay. We are filling our, our deck with days, but who cares? I think we'll be fine with it. He's going to be dead in one turn. We have so much stopped hard on him. That is a powerful debuff. Like, it's a really powerful debuff. Summon Elder Lich. Ooh. Necromantic Selection. Exhaust any number of cards, then add that many from your discard pile to your hand. Ooh. Apply Shackles of Pain for five turns. Apply Shackles of Pain. All damage you take is also f applied to the afflicted enemy. Ooh. Fun. But I think we'll go Elder Lich. That sounds more my speed. Uh, we will remove an injury. Uh, hang on. Unless we can get something better. Uh, no, that's not good. Peanut butter. At the start of each combat, gain 8 temporary HP. Uh, upon pickup, choose a 0 or 1 cost card. This card now costs X. Ooh, that could get scary if you play it right. I think we'll take another cloud kill. And maybe we take... Yeah. Maybe take the bone spike. So I can see a build with bones. Like revolving solely and wholly around bones. I can see it. We're not going to get it on this run. We haven't really set it up correctly. Easy pick. Do that. Uh... Yeah, okay. We'll summon an undead, just a random one. We got two zombies. That's fine. And Cloud Kill doesn't get exhausted, which is kind of crazy. Like any other time. Okay, that doesn't really work. More poison. More poison's more good. Now we'll just super block. Well, super block as much as we can. Because you guys are both dead. So it's just the 27. So I think we'll just try and block it. Although if we hit you with a negative level, you would have taken three off. Oh wait, yeah, we heal when we kill someone. Oh, that's not too bad. Because you're probably going to resummon now? Yep. We'll grasp your heart. We will strike you. I smack at you. Five vulnerable. Actually, pretty bad. <laughs> Actually, very bad. We're probably going to want that bone prism. God, that's a lot of damage we just put on you. Oh, not you little assholes. Okay, he's not intending to attack this turn. Which is good. 
Uh, probably want defense. Some sort of defend. 11 block, meaning we only take one. And I guess we'll bone prison one of you. Bone prison one of you just because I can, and otherwise it's just going to get discarded anyway. Oh, dude, you are so done. You are so done. You and your goons don't get to attack this turn. And now you are very dead. Just poison, poison, poison. And we get six health back. Uh, blood shield. Lose one HP, gain 13 block. Gain a blood. Prevents the next card HP cost. Okay, that's kind of fun, but not what we're going to do. Deal 15 damage to all enemies. Apply two negative levels. Nice. Spread all debuffs of the target to all enemies. Nah, we'll probably take the burst. We don't have a lot of debuff causing stuff. We probably should, but we don't. Uh, grass pop. Deal 25 damage. Pretty good. Or we just summon an Elder Lich. Could also upgrade this. Get 11 block. Deal 12 damage. Okay, that's kind of useless. Now, we might take the grass part. The crushed heart debuff is so strong. I, I do like this character. I think it... I don't know how much I'll play it just because it feels broken. Uh, an odd creature with a hunchback. What does a tiny chest do? Oh, no, I don't... I don't care. No, you can take my tiny chest. I, I don't want that. I don't need that. Ooh. An interesting opening gambit, which means we roll the dice. Okay, well. <laughs> Fair enough. Um, shit. Well. I'm gonna take a lot of damage here. Hit you with that. We'll hit you with the negative energy arrow or whatever. I know it means we're going to be going into this completely unblocked. Actually, we're going to drink some drink some energy juice. And just kind of make sure you're dead. You're going to be dead basically first turn. Again, we are going to take a bit of a pounding there, but... Not much we can do about it. Oh, excellent. Well, stun you. Uh, stop your heart. And I guess we'll cloud kill, just to make sure everybody is dead and buried. Oh, I should use the death march dance. Shit. I could have killed the little little white mage butthole. Ugh, that was a mistake. I think the problem with the death march dance is it's too weak right now. But if you keep at it, it will definitely get strong enough. Uh, yeah, six, and we'll cloud... Cloud burst, cloud kill, sure. Yeah, like, this is all no worries. Like, we've taken a bit of damage, sure, but it's not like we need a lot of strategy to get through battles with this build, or with this... I'm not going to say it's the character. It, it could be the build. I could have stumbled onto something okay, like I usually end up doing. But I don't know, just the potential for a bonkers amount of attack... And a bonkers amount of block is kind of scary. Okay, well, let's do that. Um, draw three cards. If a skill is drawn this way, gain one energy. Probably inevitable at this point. We don't have that many attacks. Uh, we have a few powers, though, so maybe not. Nice, we can actually use this right now, because we just burnt off your thing. And... We're gonna summon Undead. Oh, we got the Vampire. Nice! 
Uh, bone spikes. Sure. I mean, you're dead this turn, so... I don't see the problem. Okay, this isn't going to work. Oh, wow, we're going to take a bit of damage here. Okay, this isn't going to work, but... I want to burn off his stuff. I want to burn off his artifact. It's annoying. It's a very big issue for the enemy to have it, but for you to have it, not actually that good. Uh, six block, and another six block, and screw you. Do your 20 damage elsewhere, my good man. Oh wow, and the vampire heals for three, even though I only damage shields. That's different. What do you get? Pair of zombies? Nice. Just more heals. See, a battle like this would normally do me a bit of damage. But here, it just doesn't seem like it. Like, it, it doesn't seem like we are in any danger at all. Like, no, like, yeah, no, no problem there at all. Uh, sure, Death Coil's probably not bad. We can use it. We can use it. This will be a test, because these guys are a pain. But we are going to roll that Icosahedron. Natural 20! Which just gives us one more energy to play with this battle. That's pretty good. I can get behind that. Okay, do that. Do that. Let's go. The Lich will actually be very good here. Because there's so many enemies. Sure, you guys do your little boogada boogada. That. <laughs> you, you, you got it. Uh, boom. And then... Uh, mm, there's not a whole lot of booming to be done. We'll just throw up a defense. I shouldn't put up a defense. It's just as good to wait for the Orichalcum. Better, even. Oh, well. We're going to take three damage. We heal three when we kill someone. Doesn't matter. At the end of the day, we have one. Uh, summon an Elder Lich. Summon the Undead. Uh, just block. And watch them all die. Uh, Slate Living. When the target has 40% or less HP remaining, kill it instantly. Pretty... Damn strong. Gain 8 block. When attacked, apply 3 poison to the attacker. Also pretty damn strong. 40% or less. That is quite high. I feel like we will probably get more use out of that than you would initially think. Oh wow, a natural 20 just gives us... Oh, okay, so once you hit a nat 20, that's it. You get one more energy, but you can't roll it anymore. That's not as good. I wouldn't rate it that high. Hmm. He's gonna hit us pretty hard here. Ow. Ow, ow. Hitting us for 21 again. Bit rude. Uh, is that 40%? What's 40% 80? About 32? So you can probably hit him for, like, one more attack and then slay living. Yep. Thought so. Uh, deal 15 damage. Apply one Hellfire. Deal 10 damage per turn. Removed when the afflicted enemy gains a buff. Ooh. Interesting. Deal 8 damage if the target was above 50% HP. Heal for 25% damage dealt. Sure. Draw two cards. Gain Spectral. Seems better. Uh, we're going to rest. It's just before a boss battle. Probably no reason not to. And let's do it. Let's do it. Boss battle. So this is a harder boss battle. So in that case, maybe we'll see whether this is actually going to be super overpowered or just good. 
Now I have him with the Crushed Heart straight away. Which is very strong. We know that's very strong. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna drink this. Get rid of these two. I want more blocks, ideally. Didn't get it. Okay. Summon some zombies. Hit them with Cloud Kill. Negative Energy Shield will stop a bit of it. Uh, we'll get some plated armor as well. I guess a lot of the power comes from what random, like, undead you summon. You can summon some really good ones, and you can summon some kind of shitty ones. It's not a skill? Wait. Draw three cards. If a skill is drawn this way, create one energy. That's a skill. Am I done? Okay. No, whatever. We stopped him for one turn, so he can't can't hurt us. Oh, Bone Prison's an exhaust, though. We definitely should have saved that for something else. Uh, nine damage is not terrible. I think we just summon some boys... Take one damage. Oh, we're not even going to take one damage. So we will probably just stab her. Big stab her. Like, look at that health just chunking away. And he's getting low enough, we could probably almost slay living pretty soon. Uh, we will take 50% less damage and draw two cards. And just see how much damage we can do. Because we must have Slay Living coming up, do we? In this hand? Yes. You call that a weapon! Don't... Don't... Hit me up. Uh... What is 40% of 420? Uh... What is it divided by 5? Like... What is that divided by 5? 84? Maybe? What's 84 times 5? How has a 40? That doesn't seem right. Goes into 42. Hang on, 5 goes into 42 how many times? 8 times with 2 remainder. No, it, yeah, it's 84. So I need to get him to 168 to be able to use Slay Living. I don't think I can get him that low. Which I, in fact, now looking at it, I almost certainly can't. I'm getting pretty close, but not not enough this turn. He's definitely within range of it now. Okay, this is where I should have saved the Watsi, the Bone Prison. Okay, Spectral works. That will protect us. Uh, ba, 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 ba. Damage? It's going to do 24. We can probably just get close. Yeah, we'll just get close. So he does 3 damage. So what? Uh, ooh, not a whole lot of great damage coming out here. Which is what we need. Oh, did he, like, cure his debuffs? Shit. We are in trouble. <laughs> debuffs were kind of all we had going for us. And the, uh, the beating, the crushed heart is one of the good ones. I guess we now just want to summon a lich. We'll probably still beat him, just from the zombies and the lich attacking. Because we can't survive this. 
we can survive this turn exactly. In fact, if we do that, we survive a little bit more. And then is he dead? He's pretty close to dead. Eight poison, slay living. There we go. Easy. Easy. Yeah, so this is an interesting character. <laughs> wow, okay. Summon a skeletal dragon. Uh, deals five... Bracket seven damage to all enemies. Applies one hellfire, hellfire to those not already burning. Shatter effects. Shatter all. Costs less for each bone shattered. Deals five damage to all enemies and applies hellfire. Why does it say seven? Hmm, don't know. We might go summon vampire lady. Because that is pretty good. And then, yeah, we are going to grab a relic and then finish up this episode here. Uh, sure. Turn on three cards and upgrade. <laughs> I think if we transform a curse, it just turns into a different curse. So I don't really want that. I think we just hit three strikes. Uh, no, okay, so they can transform to other things. Maybe you transform curses. I don't know. But guys, we are going to leave this episode here. So thank you very much, everyone, for watching. If you like this video, make sure you hit that like button. If you want to see more content from me, the Aussie nerd, feel free to subscribe to my channel and check out the other videos on there. If you think you know any friends might enjoy my content, make sure you share a video too with them. I really appreciate it. And finally, if you want to leave any hints, tips, tricks, feedback for videos, or you just want to say hi, make sure you do so in the comments section down below so I can see it. And I'll see all of you guys in the next episode. Goodbye.